All right, we're going to find the uh, legs of a right triangle when given an angle and the hypotenuse. So to start out with here, I've got a 32 degree angle on the bottom, right there, one of the acute angles. I've got a 90 degree angle and I, my hypotenuse is 25. Now, we're using trigonometry to solve this. So here is your SOHCAHTOA. I always use SOHCAHTOA as a mnemonic device. I've always used it as a kid. It helped me remember what sine, cosine, and tangent mean. So sine theta is when you take the opposite side of the angle divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine, you take the adjacent side to the angle divided by the hypotenuse. And tangent, you take the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So let's go back and label our triangle to make sure we know what goes where. Okay, the 25 is the hypotenuse. And we know that because it is across from the 90 degree angle. This side over here is opposite because it is opposite the angle. It is the side opposite the angle. This side here is the adjacent because it is beside. Adjacent means beside, so that's the side adjacent to the angle. So to start with, or the second thing you do once you have that labeled is let's decide to, on, a, on a side to find. We're going to find A to start with, and we're given the hypotenuse. So we've got adjacent that we want to find, and we're given hypotenuse. So we'll remember that and go over here. So you could either use sine, cosine, and tangent. And if you notice, the only one that deals with both of those is cosine. So we know we're going to be using cosine. So we'll go back to our picture, and we'll just fill out this formula. So cosine of our angle, which is 32 degrees, equals the adjacent, which is A, over 25. Okay, once you have that established and you know what, and you've correctly put things in their place, get your calculator out and type in the A, 32 cosine. So 32, and now I'll hit my cosine button, and it's 0.8480. Okay, so 0.8480. And then I'm going to place that over 1 and set that equal to A over 25. What this allows me to do is to cross multiply. So A equals 0 0.8480 times 25. So when you take that 0 0.8480 times 25, you get 21. A is approximately equal to 21.2. Okay, now I, I did use four decimal places. You notice there's a lot more decimal places than that. Back in the day, that's the tables that I've always had as a math educator have four decimals, so I've just always used four decimals. You know, you should use significant digits of your problem and things to determine that. Right now, just use four. Okay, so the next thing we need to decide on is O. And O is the opposite and again, we're given the hypotenuse. And so we go to our trig functions and find out which one deals with opposite and hypotenuse. And it looks like tangent is the only one, that or sorry, sine is the only one that deals with opposite and hypotenuse. You could also use tangent because we just found the adjacent. But I like to go with the original values that they give us. So opposite and hypotenuse, we're going to use sine. So we'll go back. We'll set up our relationship, sine of 32 equals opposite, which we don't know yet, over hypotenuse. Get our calculator out, type in 32, but this time hit sine, and it's 0.5299. So 0.5299 over 1 equals O over 25, cross multiply, so 1 times O is O, 0.5299 times 25 is approximately equal to 13.25. And again, use significant digits to solve everything. Thanks for listening. I hope this helps you.